Hey, my name is Christian, and I'm here to talk about teaching dispositions. Now, the first question that I have is, what is the special education teacher's role in supporting, supporting learning, improving, planning, practicing, upholding professionalism, uh, expectations and ethics, and collaborating to uphold the profession? My goodness. So I'm going to start at the bottom. First of all, teachers have to collaborate with uh, lots lots of people. There are administrators, there are other teachers, there's support staff. So it's um, especially important to learn how to collaborate. And in collaborating, in with working as a team, comes listening. Because listening is something that people think that they're doing, but they don't all the time. So um, it is the teacher's also responsibility to uphold expectations of professionalism and ethics. Um, we have to practice what we preach. And so respect is a big thing to me. And so uh, if I want respect, I need to give it. And also I need to give it to other students and other professionals that I'm working with. It's no different. Planning and improving. Uh, we can plan and improve several things when it comes to teaching. It could be anything from our lesson plans to delivering our lesson plans to maybe adding or deleting something as the teacher sees fit. And the SPED teacher's role is basically, I mean, they're in the front seat when it comes to all these things. It is all of their responsibility to do all of these things. Supporting learning, right? Um, we're basically supposed to do anything to help the kids be successful as they need, as they can be. So uh, next is what disposition do I possess and what disposition do I need to improve on? Um, my first disposition I think is empathy because it's really, um, I think it's really important for me to really put myself into another person's shoes and really analyze the perspective where they're coming from. All right, and one thing I need to work on is that I'm a nice person. I like to be nice, but also that leaves me room to get stepped on along the way, so I need to watch out for that. Um, the third question is about personal biases and how are they going to affect my interactions with students and their families. Personal biases are something that I, um, ex that I have um, extreme beef with. <laughs> that I have a problem with just because I am a minority and I know that as a minority my color is very important but it's not the only thing about me you know like if I had a personal bias against Persian people people of a Persian descent you know I may think in class that oh it's no use teaching that kid because he's not gonna learn and uh, that's extremely hurtful when it comes to communications uh, when dealing with students, parents, and other teachers. Um, personal bias destroys communication. So, and I think it's really something that we need to do without. <laughs> okay, so thank you.